Hey, this is Jessica Benninger. You're watching Trailers from Hell, and I want to talk about The Candidate. Michael Ritchie's like the king of social satire. He did three amazing movies uh, in the 70s, all incredible, but The Candidate, done in 1972, starring Robert Redford and Peter Boyle, is one of my all-time favorites. It really holds up. It doesn't get less relevant. It gets more relevant with every passing year, and it showcases Michael Ritchie's undiluted, textured style. Um, he really leaves things unfettered, or so it seems, in this way that's really American and really unusual and was really ahead of its time. The Candidate from 1972 got a Best Writing Oscar for Jeremy Larner, who was a speechwriter during Senator Eugene J. McCarthy's presidential campaign. The film also received a Best Sound nomination for Richard Portman and Gene Cantamesa. And there's this thing in the movie when you see it that's quite incredible. There's this use of din of the crowd and this intermittent buzz of white noise that feels super relevant and modern. And the way Ritchie captures crowds is unlike anyone. He really lets people be their authentic selves and the candidate is definitely worth checking out. Don't tell me what I know. Don't make me. Will you give me some Put that damn phone down and let's get this straight. I want to know what the hell this campaign is. Peter Boyle plays Democratic campaign manager Marvin Lucas and he gives this unbelievably understated performance. It's hard to believe he did Young Frankenstein when you see this. It's just like he had such command as a 70s natural, as does Redford. Their scenes feel really unguarded and urgent at the same time. A mindless slogan that cheapens candidate and voter alike. Those early hard statements of his are turning into mush. There's this fun repetition of all Redford's stump speeches and glad handing, and uh, there's a scene where Redford loses his composure during a taping. He's laughing uncontrollably and unable to recover. Michael Ritchie uses terrific POV shots as Redford stares into the abyss of the meaninglessness of the parade. And this sequence of watching someone unravel from robotic repetition is incredibly satisfying and unexpected. I feel like Redford made two of his best films with Ritchie, The Candidate and 1969's Downhill Racer. They both seem to understand the bullshit behind the pageantry. There's a ton to admire about both movies, but in The Candidate, Redford seems able to transpose any disillusionment he may have had about fame into his character with this wonderfully relaxed poise. And Redford is never more stunning. He's so handsome, but like unselfconscious. Look at him goofing there from getting sick of doing stump speeches. It's so great. You middle class honkies. The candidate shares a lot of similarities to Smile, and Richie really seems to understand that they are the same animal. They are both pageants, just different kinds of pageants. It's aware of the problem it's exploring without judgment, and that is the hallmark of a great satire. In Michael Ritchie's New York Times obituary, it said that when notoriously persnickety critic John Simon picked a list of the five best American movies, three of them, Downhill Racer, The Candidate, and Smile, were Ritchie's. That's kind of incredible and saying a lot, and The Candidate is definitely the heart of Ritchie's oeuvre for me in this period. It's the first one. It kind of sends you off to the races. 